What is good YouTube, Walsh you here with a video on the Justice League movie. So we've got a very interesting image of Wonder Woman looking lovely and Bruce Wayne, Batman, without the cowl on, he looks awesome. So why is this image awesome? Because it's come from Empire Magazine and we know it's official. But we do see a Ferris wheel in the background, which is very fishy and it looks like Chernobyl, I hope I'm saying that right, behind the Wonder Woman and they've clearly put it there for a reason. So basically it's a place in Ukraine, there was a massive nuclear power power plant one of the reactors went off in 1986 and it caused a massive disaster where the whole place 30 mile radius had to be evacuated and the fact that it's appearing behind wonder Woman leads me and my team of people to speculate that this is in fact the amusement park located just a few miles outside of this disaster site so this image does confirm that this place will actually be in the movie and it could actually be where the final battle happens and it could actually be where the red skies are. I don't know. It could be. But why would the newly formed superheroes have to nuke it with, Steph, with Steppenwolf and his army parademons at Chernobyl? Could it be this is the place where the site exists above the new gods of the first war in the kind of prelogue scene that we're going to see? There's lots of lists of things. It could be I've listed. I'm going to list a few. It could be one of the boom tube generators is located there that connects Earth and Apocalypse together. Apocalypse is like the fourth world, which is like a, it's outside the multiverse, but it's a mirror world of ours. Hence why the parademons will know that way around it. Or could it actually be the place where Darkseid and his mother boxes were actually responsible for a nuclear meltdown in the first place? very interesting and many people think that the red sky is either chernobyl or it's the fourth world but i can't and um, um, i can't honestly see it being the fourth world unless we're going to directly see dark side so guys massive spoiler warning spoiler alert because we've seen the place ukraine and chernobyl come up i'm going to go over a potential leak that came up about a few months back i did list it but because they're in ukraine and this image does insinuate they're going to be there it could possibly be true so it reads like this the league heads to, to Ukraine and gets ready for battle. Bruce asks the team to stop holding back and give the fight 100%. At Ukraine, the league fights Steppenwolf. This is where Steppenwolf realizes that Cyborg is the third mother box, and Steppenwolf kills Cyborg's dad. And Cyborg is devastated, and Steppenwolf tries to kidnap him, only to be stopped by Wonder Woman. Batman is forced to make the league retract, retreat sorry to avoid more collateral damage the league make the league makes their way to a, a near getaway which does correspond to reports and other things so that's kind of interesting so what also we see in this image which is kind of interesting if you look on the left it looks like a scene from the opening start of the movie which is a prequel scene like dark side opening battle which is the age of the heroes where if you listen to the trailer you hear wonder woman say the age of heroes was never meant it was never supposed to happen again so this is a massive hint to the dark side war you can see the apocalypse forces you can see the ships you can see some beam you can see the amazonians attacking them i don't think we're going to see what dark side in this scene although it's going to massively hint that dark side is the cause of it and we already have consummate confirmation of a massive dark opening scene that will be set hundreds if not thousand years before the wonder Woman movie starts if you want to know more about that i suggest you read dark side of war i think it's a jeff johns one pretty interesting it'll give you more information about dark side war it's a really interesting story arc so what are stephen wolf plans so kieran hines the actor who plays him had this to say i'm sorry i'm not in costume i didn't even have a costume when i was doing it hines revealed it's all done in motion capture so they stick a helmet on your head they put two cameras around and they capture all your ex expressions facial expressions so basically they're going to like connect everything together which is kind of interesting because that's the issue i have with cgi motion captured villains it seems like he's not even had a fight with wonder woman it looks like everything's just edited in we see in the trust latest trailer wonder woman's fighting steppenwolf so that, that's the issue i had with aries in the wonder woman movie this just too much cdi and motion caption going on but i don't think they're gonna mess this villain up as it would be too much of a massive hindrance this villain needs to be epic to set up dark side or someone on coming after him most likely dark side so he went on to say this 
This is about his like Steppenwolf character. He's still trying to get out of his own enslavement to Darkseid. Holmes explains, but he has to keep on this line to try and take over worlds. So it did say like he's going to take over this world, like he's taking over others, and we see him swing massively into the ground. So I find this very interesting that this amusement park kind of Chernobyl bit has appeared in a new image and they specifically placed Gal Gadot Wonder Woman in front of it and you can clearly see that there and you can clearly see the prequel image on the left hand side so guys let me know about this are you excited do you think that potentially is where the final battle is going to take place just like the leak said a while ago i did give a spoiler warning so don't say you ruined it for me like this is just a theory guys it might not even be true but it would make sense do you think this ferris wheel kind of chernobyl scene is going to be in the real earth like our earth is it going to be on the, the fourth world where do you think it is? Do you think we're going to get Darkseid? There's so many strong hints at Darkseid, but seeing as there's been no casting news for Darkseid, I really very much doubt we're going to see Darkseid to maybe a teaser scene at the end. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. You guys have been absolutely awesome. Been getting some really good feedback from these videos. So I'm going to keep doing them daily all the way up to the Justice League movie on the November the 17th, if I can, guys. I'm absolutely loving all bringing this content to you if you've got any ideas or theory videos that you want me to make just drop me a message down below and i would do my best to make them hit that notification squad button down below you know i upload 10 o'clock gpm time i will be dropping some merchandise soon link to the justice league if you guys are up for it let me know in the comment box down below and i would do that also if you're loving the mcu content let me know as i'm trying to do mcu content and just see content daily and as of Next week, I'm back to doing my Flash, Arrow, Legends tomorrow, trailer breakdowns, and review episode breakdowns. Anyway, guys, this is the video for today. Like I said before, please like, subscribe, and comment. And we will catch you on another video, guys, very soon. Catch you later.